integrate the following. So we can actually break this down to move of the constants to the left of the integral sign, integrating sine of x minus 2 integral of secant squared x. All right, so when we integrate this, I should probably write dx. <laughs> All right, so um, the integral of sine of x is negative cosine of x minus 2 times the integral of secant squared of x is tangent of x. And then our generic constant c. So it's going to be negative 3 cosine of x minus 2 tangent of x plus c. And that's it. Here's our final result. All right. I hope this problem helped you out. I appreciate you watching. You have yourself a great day.